Major Mohammad Ali Shah still with us on the broadcast. Ali, what do you make of this? Well, Nexalites have uh, for long, you know, been finding sponsorship and arms and ammunition, and they have targeted our innocent soldiers. Uh, you know, these encounters are definitely a way for the government to flush out uh, these people at the earliest. Well, Vineet, uh, I will just give a small little background. You know, there was a very, very uh, famous uh, Mayur's leader, Hidma, in, uh, in the same general area, Hidma. Now, I will tell in a story kind of a format so that everyone gets it. You know, on 23rd March 2021, five district reserve guards personnel, they were killed. And there were 13 others who were injured in the when the Mayur's they blew up a bus, he was carrying security personnel. With an improvised with an ID, improvised explosive device. It was it happened in Narayanpur district of Chhattisgarh. Now there was a, a, a combing operation launched uh, to counter that as well. Now the very fact is, Hidma was a very very uh, powerful leader. The very fact is, the mayor's groups which over there, they were aided by the insurgents associated with the mayor's platoons of various other subsects like Pamed, Konta, Jagarduna, Pasarguda. These areas, their committees, and they formed the strength of nearly 250 personnel. They all uh, work together. Now, in 2021, at the same general area right now, Sukma Bijapur area, the attack, they, they ambushed, there was an ambush again on security personnel, where the Communist Party of India, Mewes, they had attacked the security personnel on 3rd April 2021 at the Sukma Bijapur border near Jogunduna. Village and that falls under uh, Jagarduna police station, which is the area of Sukma district again. The same infamous area that we are discussing right now. Now, which which led to the killing of 22 security personnel and nine max lives. Now, the, the death toll was, in fact, it was after 2017. Between then, this was the worst death toll that toll that happened. And the max lives had have repeatedly attacked the CRPF companies, and they have. Uh, done a massacre on CRPF companies over there repeatedly. Now, on 2nd April 2021, there were separate joint teams of security personnel. They were launched to counter this attack. And that time, the uh, a major anti mayors operation from Bijapur and Sukhmana district from South Bastar Forest was launched. Now, this has been going on for quite a while. We've had, you know, I had the fortune of working with the Mahindra, the Mahindra company for a while, and they would manufacture these bulletproof uh, vehicles to uh, to uh, the Dantewala and such areas. Let me tell you, these mayors get all the inputs about where we are deploying, how, what, because of maybe because of the local support over there. Perhaps they had, perhaps they didn't have. But the very fact, the moment these mayors project themselves like Robin Hood, that we are doing you good. So anyone, it's uh, human nature, would tend to sympathize with them, unfortunately. Now, when that happens, what happens is our brave hearts keep getting martyred like cannon fodder. Now, it has happened repeatedly. Just few days back, again, we were reporting a uh, mayor's attack in uh, Chhattisgarh. Now, this, where can, what does what the solution lie? You know, this solution would lie in actually sitting down when we could, we could uh, bring in peace with Lal Denga. We could bring in peace in Mizoram. Before the Mizoram Accord was signed, I'm, I'm talking about the early 80s, Mizoram was burning at one time. Mizram got, there was peace in Mizram, there was peace in Assam. Assam Kokrajar was a hotbed. Many of my friends, in fact, got martyred in that area. We could bring in peace after a long while in Punjab. And once that's a different thing that all this Joker, Amrit Pal Singh, side off. There's a different thing. We could manage to bring in some stability after the creation of Article 370 in JNK. Manipur is, we could have a ceasefire with Nagaland. Manipur is burning. And now even Chhattisgarh belt. Here, the attacks keep on happening. Why? We should have a proper talk with these insurgents. We should have a proper talk with these mayors. We should have a proper talk with... I would brand or every insurgent, everyone as terrorist. For me, everyone who is uh, not following the law and order and disturbing the peace in that and tranquility in that state, in that particular belt, is basically a terrorist, is, is adding terror in that, in that area. So now, how do we counter terror? And I find I will make the nation go blind. I mean, because these are our own people. At the end of the day, they are Indian. The mayor is also, without having any sympathy for them, I would say it, killing would not be the answer. Yes, we are most welcome. I mean, deploy any security forces. We'll kill one, then heads will be born. Now, the very fact is the ideology, the nip of the, the bud should be nip in the bud. What the, what the matter is, that crux should be addressed. And that, those talks should be, or the channel of communication should be open. 
because when the channel of communication is open i feel a lot can be brought to the table and a lot can be sorted out by bullets yes we are trained for that and we will we will uh, make no bones about laying down our lives or if we have to take out take the life of the enemy as well enemy mean not from the other country but whoever we are fighting against but is that the solution the solution is complex again the solution is talks i'm not saying peace talks is very easy to talk peace but what the even a doctor cannot cure a patient unless he gets a pulse once a doctor gets a pulse then he can prescribe okay i will give you antibiotics or i will give you paracetamol or i'll give you a syrup only then a doctor right, you need appreciate your points i appreciate your thought process as well appreciate you joining us as well ali thank you for that